Good morning. Just woke up. Eating my sunte. Had a pretty crazy lightning storm last night. Which woke me up a couple of times. It's quite beautiful over here. Let's have a look here. Got some local workers there. But this is pretty much the view all around. Palm trees. This is day two. Um, we're right now in Masunte and we're just gonna have one day exploring Masunte before continuing, continuing the hitchhike adventure. See ya. Find some Wi Fi and make some more couch surfing requests. I love couch surfing done it as well. My last hitchhike trip. So cool to meet I mean, so local people. And you have a free place to stay, of course, which is always nice. Look at this football field. <laughs> It was really like jungle style football. Getting some oatmeal, best thing. Let's start today. So, Sana Scamario Mazunte. Pretty good weather though. Um, palm trees out around as usual. Got some fresh groceries. A little granola, banana, apple, cinnamon, oatmeal. It's gonna be fucking delicious. Just quickly going to check out this turtle museum. Should be awesome. There were some pretty large turtles over here though, and it made a museum for it. So, let's check it out. So it is a little example of a Mexican transport called Colectivos, just like a pickup truck, <laughs> but it's pretty funny. Okay, but this one is only like 10 pesos to get to uh, the place where I need to be, and there we'll see some crocodiles, turtles will be cool. <laughs> So, just had a cool collective ride. Bought my entry to the Ventania Park. So we're not going to the Turtle Museum right now. This is like a wild, like a natural wildlife park. Wild animals in their own natural habitat. You will be seeing crocodiles, turtles, etc. Just have to walk down this road right here for 15 minutes and then uh, we should get there. So we made it to Ventania. So here I will be doing the tour, the mangrove tour. I decided to see some crocodiles. I had to switch to my phone though because I'm low on battery on my camera. It's a metal that, in this playa. <laughs> wow. Expuesto a los rayos del sol, eh, logra levantar una temperatura de 60, 70 grados de temperatura. Sí. Qué buena. <laughs> okay, but the thing you just saw was pretty cool. There's a lot of iron in the sand. So we're now walking through this mangrove-like area. It's pretty cool. So we arrived at the mangroves. And we're gonna get into a boat over here, like this one. And hopefully see some crocodiles, would be awesome.
So we just did a tour in Ventanilla in the mangroves. It was uh, pretty awesome. So the crocodiles had enough battery left to shoot the crocodiles. Also some iguanas, birds, a little turtle as well, which was too far away to get a capture. But uh, it was pretty cool. Also a pretty cool story you told us about like the two main males that are fighting for this area. Uh, and have like the second largest male scratched out an eye on the other older male told us as well about territories of crocodiles the various types of birds that live there how they preserve the area it was quite interesting definitely worth the money it was only like four four dollars uh, four euros while hiking back here to the hostel it's a pretty awesome view over here as you can see just like palm trees everywhere Sky is amazing, sun's coming out. Simple Mexico. Still managed to do some hitchhiking today. Just hitchhiked back from Ventanilla to Mazunde. Just a little ride in this big It's gonna be cool. <laughs> Needed to do some hitchhiking, right? Check this. Cool sand road. <laughs> this is a good life. They advised me to get the sunset from Punta Cometa which is the most southern point of Mexico um, and it's actually just at the end of this beach here in Matsunte so beach is right there behind me let's go and take a look so the point should be right there. Weehoo! Back in hell, this guy knows how to do it. The sun's already actually setting here right behind me. You can see it's fucking beautiful over here actually when the sun's out. Uh, yesterday was quite cloudy, but now it's just amazing. Punta Cometa. ¿Cómo llegó ahí? Oh, eh, tienes que regresarte por la calle para arriba. Sí. Como unos 500 metros, no, como 300 metros. Per Perfecto. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. These guys here are sending me up and down the beach <laughs> to find the entry path to Punta Cometa. But I think I know where it is right now. This should be the little road all the way up. The little road just keeps on going cool thing is like everybody's constructing like houses in the middle of nowhere so seems like we're reaching it Reserva Ecoarchalogica de Punta Cometa cool little trail and we should get an awesome view once we get to Punta Cometa. Pretty cool viewpoint already. So it's starting to look good over here. Definitely not too late yet. Looks fucking beautiful over here. The sun is now behind the clouds, we might be able to see it. Like 20 more minutes, and I think this is gonna be fucking perfect. So that right there is Punta Cometa. So I'd actually like to get onto this other rock, but it seems a little bit treacherous to get over this ledge. I'm at a pretty insane point right here. There's ocean here, ocean right beside me. <laughs> and I have to get over this ledge right here. Whilst the sun is setting nicely behind me here, as you can see, I actually have to correct one thing. It's not the most southern point of Mexico. It's uh, actually the most southern point of Oaxaca, the state where we're uh, of Mexico where we're in. Here we are at the most southern point in Oaxaca. Pretty beautiful, I have to say.
but it was a cool little adventure. Seeing the sunset at Punta Cometa, Irmasunte. On the beach over here, it's beautiful as well. The sun has set right now, so I'm gonna get back to the hostel as quick as possible before it gets too dark. I just ran back from Punta Cometa. It's gotten pretty dark by now, as you can see. Um, it was a cool second day of adventures. Only a tiny bit of hitchhiking, but had a cool time. Uh, going to Ventanilla, seeing all these animals. Going to Punta Cometa, seeing the sunset. Running around Masunte. Uh, but I'm dead and fucking sweaty as well, so gonna take a shower. Get something to eat and go to bed. For today, I'm out.